Welcome back. You're tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso only on SABC3. In the Expresso kitchen, I'm taking a deep breath for a reason. This time with Baron Kreiling, a rebel chef extraordinaire. Meneer, how are you? Good on yourself. Can you clean it? You found it deep awesome for the I found it deep awesome, and I see all the men in the studio. It's all right. Everyone is freaking out in the studio right now because, as promised, we are going to be cooking with some bugs this morning. Now, before we start, just quickly, where do you see this trend going? Because you do it in your, in your restaurant now and then. I'd say... In the West, in South Africa, in the top restaurants, you know, it is becoming quite a trend, especially for tasting menus. Um, if you go to the developing countries, yeah. you know, it's a good source of protein. Yeah. It's a good source of flavor. It's a normal snack. It's part of people's diet. Yeah. So I definitely see it as a trend growing. You know, it used to be a taboo. Yeah. It's coming onto the menus. Okay. People are getting used to it. Um, and let's have fun this morning. Let's, let's give fun. you so a some recipes. So we're making mealworm risotto balls with what else? What else? Mealworm risotto balls yeah. with truffle and polenta. You know, to give you that little bit extra touch. And okay. then crickets, we're gonna do crispy fried crickets and chorizo. Oh, wow. Mixed with chips, a little bit of rocket, balsamic vinegar, salt okay. and pepper. All right, so here we have okay. our mealworms, we have our crickets, we have some apani worms, is there? Apani worms, well. we've got there. What some are these guys? Super worms is the big one. Super worms. And then the one of the most protein and fat content of all is the black fly larvae. Okay. So you eat them, you obviously, you can eat them just like that, if you, you really want to. can eat them just like that, but <laughs> I prefer want. them with garlic and salt. Let's get cooking, <laughs> I want to see how you use this in an actual recipe, all right? Okay, first of all, we're going to warm the pan, the mealworms we actually cook from live. Make sure they're fresh, you know, if you get okay. some dead ones, you don't yes. know how long they've been dead. The risotto, we've got a basic here. Okay. I've mixed some truffle paste in there, some salt, pepper, some mushroom stock. I'm going to add a little bit of feta. That will keep it moist. All right. I'm gonna add a little bit of chives. Okay. It's good to see that you Im incorporate this into ingredients that we actually do know. So it's a touch not, of parmesan. You know, yeah, it's yes, it makes it a little bit less scary yeah, to that's try. The thing. Yeah. Okay, so the meal one's going in right now. Wait, where is going? All right. Add a touch of oil. Now, if you are brave enough out there and you want to try this recipe yourself at home, SMS the keyword bugs to 33728. Bugs to 33728 will send you the shopping list and uh, also add a link to the recipe. All right. Perfect. How's our oil doing over here? Oil's getting there. Oil's warm enough. Okay, now. In a warm pan, you'll hear they make a little popping sound. Okay. When they pop, they're ready means the intestines actually come out, they clean themselves, which oh. is... Okay, here we go. And it's literally, there you can see them going. There goes the popping sound. It's literally <laughs> five seconds. <laughs> I think this is truly an espresso first. <laughs> Give them a little bit of a stir. And how long does this take? 15 quick seconds, quick literally, quick literally, quick. literally 15 seconds. So you seconds. just want that popping sound. As soon as they pop, wow, look you, at that. you stop. Okay. Wait. Drain off a little bit of the excess oil. You're gonna add that to your mixture and leave yeah. a few as garnish. Okay, can you eat them now, just like that? You can, would you like to try one? Why not? Let's have a try. Just Look at that, a little bit of salt on there as well. All right, I'll be brave and I'll take two of them. All right. Okay, come here, boy. There we go, all right. It's actually very, very neutral taste. It's very neutral taste. A little bit of salt in there is actually not, it's not bad at all. I can get used to that. And mm. then to make them special, we're going to mix everything together. All right. Make sure your hands are clean when you do this at home. Okay. So this risotto ball. Sorry, you just have to move on a little bit there. Okay. So that keyword, once again, if you want to try this, bugs to 33728. Alternatively, log on to our Facebook page, Express the Morning Show, SABC3. We're cooking with insects. Okay. I'm going to make us three. All right. Um, secret of risotto balls or any right. deep fried thing, yeah. make sure you double coat them. So they're there. Now, now Barn, I'm going to ask you to talk us quickly through the rest of the recipe because, I mean, we are a little bit short on time. I want to get to, so you would fry this risotto balls now in the oil for how long? Um, 45 seconds, medium okay. hot oil until they become golden brown. Okay, cool. And after that, oh, look who's coming in, look who's coming oh, I in. I something completely <laughs> ridiculous in this kitchen. How's it, buddy? Good, good, good. How are we doing? Oh, are we that. ready? All right. Oh, very That's nice. It. Very, very there nice. There we go. Coat them first in the polenta. It smells the good, air. but I'm not going to yeah. taste it. Graham, 
I mm. think you will really love this given one. A, given those a little bit of. Okay, I'm gonna break my my diet here just for one second. I'm gonna have a little meal room with you. All right, <laughs> guys at home, thank you so much for joining us for what has been an amazing show today. Come here, little guy. Don't be scared. Yeah. Come on. Just, just chow it, buddy. Take a handful. There we go. And we're easy. Two. That. Da -da -da. So. <laughs> Uh -huh, well done. So that's Yay! the Ross Band. You'll serve it with some chorizo <laughs> and some fried crickets as well. For the full recipe, log on to Espresso's website, espressoshow.com. The bottom. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That is actually delicious. This is very that interesting. Is huh? really nice. Wait until you try it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you we tomorrow. Love you, love we'll you see tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Ciao. Okay.